watching Talking About Orcs. So the Mad Eye Black on the first model is mostly dry, so I'm going to go over with the Thraka Green. You can see as I wash it, it's not, uh, the definitions aren't, it's just not as strong a pigment as, like, say, the black or the Devlin Mud or even the Sepia. Uh, so this does will require two good washings. And again, we're talking about changing the color here. So if you're satisfied, you know, you know, if you get a good definition with the Thraka Green wash, you, know, you don't even have to do the second layer. Just leave it in a plain wash. And there's nothing wrong with that. It still looks really good. In fact, I've got one unit which I've done that to. I um, mean, because I hadn't gotten to the layering yet when I painted it. Uh, it's one of those things, those progression things. The more you do, the more you learn, the more your units change. So I didn't do a layer on them, but they're just washed. And they look fine. Mm. Again, it's not as important if you get the green wash on the bad at black washed areas because it just doesn't show up very well. Um, especially if you get it over the <coughs> um, Dark Angel's green straps, it really doesn't show up at all. So that's one vote for green straps there. You can see that the definition has started in there. And actually you can alter the way it looks by putting the model in different places to dry. So if I leave it dry like that, on this side I'll have, oh well, I won't be able to do it on this, here. I can leave it to dry like this and it will alter where the wash ends up by the time it dries. So let me give it with a more consistent look and leave it standing on its base. So it is altering the color you want to make sure you get everywhere. Not just so the second coat will be more in just the recesses. But we'll let that dry. <coughs> so the next step, the final highlight on the skin. I'm gonna grab some of these bits here. Uh, let's go over what we've done here with these two. I've just done a dry brush a bolt gun instead of a layer, and yeah, just for a different look. And there's no reason why everything has to look exactly the same. Uh, that's when I gave this little skull thing over the opening. It's not perfectly lined up with the barrel, but it's really close. The bullets are coming out of the mouth. Now this is just bleach bone with a Devlin mud wash, and then I went over the highlights with the bleach bone again. Very simple technique. Base color wash, same base color again. Is really gives you a really nice effect. It's really easy to do, and it's definitely the first step to a more complex painting. Um, we'll paint the strap here. The bullets are gray, codex gray. You've got blazing brass on the brass. And yeah. And I forgot to paint that handle. Wow. And you always catch things like this. You'll, you, you can't be perfect. So now I'm going to have to go over this with some bolt head and fix that. I got all the other ones, but these two are just dry brushed. But yeah. So anyway, on to the next layer. Next layer is scorpion green. So we're gonna have the same guy I did before. I think this is the same guy I did before. Yeah. And again, we're gonna be grabbing some flow aid. Extreme detail brush. Okay, this is gonna be really hard to do. <laughs> so the camera shows lots of light, uh, but oh, there we go. There we go. That fixed that. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over like, a piece of the brush. Okay. Again, I'm still not a huge fan of the quality of the army painter brush, uh, but it is effective. So what we're gonna do we're gonna focus. I'm 
go over the muscles where the line highlights. So we're just trying to bring out the areas Scorpion Green is really bright when it's in the bottle. It's really bright on the brush. But by the time it dries, it really does tone down quite a bit. So, I'm going to try and keep some thin lines here. Just trying to bring out the edges of the muscles. because the scorpion green is low on pigments and we even have to go over some areas twice to get a decent to have it even show up. that uh, wash in the recesses really come out. I'm doing it this way. Okay, the fingers don't have to worry about a whole lot because most of it's going to be covered by the shooter. sinew on the back. Turn those areas out. There. See, it really doesn't take very long. Uh, once, especially once you're familiar with exactly where all the paint goes. It won't take very long to get to that point, uh, as I said, because there's just so many orcs to do. Here are the next, basically the same areas we got before with the scorpion green. The unfortunately, the bad thing about these little brushes, you have to paint dries really quickly in them, so you have to keep going back. Now we're going to get the face, same thing as before, we're going to get the edges of the cheeks, or the chin, I mean. Lip. Nose. too much. Some lines here. Get her lip. And so yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so this is the arm for the guy I just highlighted, and you can see I've already gotten the first layer of green done. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight. scorpion green on the arm. I 
really doesn't take a whole lot to get that done. So, so we're not doing a layer, we're just doing a highlight on here. Of course, like this side here, you're not going to see, but at least for some of it, I like to do some anyway. Let me just do the whole back. Here, no one's going to see that. That's really all it takes. That's it. And it's got a lot more. Really, the scorpion greenery, as I said, really brings out the highlight. It brings out the uh, the recess wash quite significantly. <laughs> so, and uh, that's going to be it for the skin highlights. So the next step is just to finish off the details.